Hello, YouTubers! It is Godzilla 294 here coming at you with a figure review, and this time it is on the Bandai DX Ultra Monster series Snake Darkness. This figure was requested by Ericzilla1999, and yeah, so first things first, this is a custom, and if you want to see how the figure looked like before, you can Google Snake Darkness figure on Google, or you can go to my go to my channel and you can go scroll down a couple videos and you can see the monster makeover for this guy. So yeah, but first let's get starting off with the tag. Here we have Snake Darkness, and if my camera wants to focus in, he's a really cool kaiju. Like just, he's really really cool. Just, yeah. So the movie he he appeared in Ultraman RB the movie. I haven't seen it yet, and it's I have seen no clips of it at all online except for. Real official release trailer to Subaraya, but I have read the Ultra Wiki page for this guy, and supposedly it's a human individual that transforms into Snake Darkness once this person becomes influenced by the evil Ultra of the movie. I don't remember their name, but Snake Darkness has like a lot of abilities. He can fly. He can shoot um, fireballs from up here, breathe a fire, has this big old, what do you call it, like a big weapon arm, and then he has a pincer here where he can, he can set opponents, and he has really, really cool kaiju, but still haven't seen him in action, but the only reason, the reason why I got this figure was because the design just spoke to me. It looks so, so cool. I really dig the fact that the wings are like on the back and they're hanging from the side. Like, with when I draw my kaiju, I kind of have something very similar going on with this, like every with most of my kaiju that I draw. Like for example, being Zagan, like Zagan, the wing was how the wing was designed. That just automatically like drew my attention because that's how, that's kind of how the way I draw my kaiju. And so first and going, the figure when you first get him. He's like a really, 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 really plain white vinyl with some red here and there. His red, his teeth are painted red and his toes. And the ones here, the horns here on his, I don't know, let's call it his arm. His arm. But it was like how all figures are nowadays. Really good molds, but really, really shitty paint jobs. And... Well, not most figures. Look at the King of the Monsters line. <laughs> Rodan and Monster look like crap. <laughs> Anyways, but I painted this guy. I did a black coat first, and then I did some white dry brushing over him, and then I did pink in these areas. I looked at some. I looked at the suit as reference in these areas too, and then I also I left the eyes alone. I just put a little black in there. But I didn't touch the eyes at all. That's pretty much the only original paint that's there from when I first got it. But I got this guy from Hobby Link Japan for like $18, $17. Really, really worth the price. I bought him along with Mogera. So, yeah. And the detail, the way that I did the dry brushing for the white, you can really see a lot of detail. Like with just a regular figure, you can't see these. You can't see all these scratches and spot molded spots. Whoa, my camera is actually picking it up. Whoa. But yeah. And the inside is just, like, the inside of the bottom wings is just bland. Like, on the suit, there's, like, molded stuff, like, how it is outside. But I guess they didn't do it, but, like, whatever. Designs change, stuff like that. And he has, like, really, really, really nice... I really think this design is very cool and unique. I read a couple of articles that I translated saying that... So it's, I'm not like 100% sure because they're translated because you know translation and whatever. But supposedly this is a repurposed Shepardon suit. And if you look at the Shepardon suit, Google him. Press pause, Google him. Um, it kind of does look like it. Like the way, first of all, the way the, how this, pretty much the base of it is except for the arm. It's pretty much the same exact thing. And the way the wings are positioned. Shepardon, the wings are more toward, attached to the body like all the way to like right there. But it's like a repurposed suit, supposedly. And then, supposedly, they reused Mega Rochi's legs, like the bottom legs, like this part. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't know if it's true or not. I just read it on a Japanese article. Like, I don't know. But 
This guy's really, really cool. He's just one of the smaller DX figures, though. He's kind of like with Magabasta and Mega, and Mega Jappa kind of scale. He's not like Zagan or Skogamora or Regocite type of huge. He's more like around the 7-inch area instead of 8 inches. But his head rotates. It rotates 360. You got the arms. The arms you gotta be really careful with. Like, I'm being careful because you know the paint job. But like, the way the... Why won't this rotate? <laughs> There you go. It'll just, like, I'm not rotating much because it's stuffing, but, like, it doesn't even rotate that much in the first place due to the fact that the wing is there. So, it's not, like, it's not, like, the best. But it does, they do rotate. But you can see the wing limits it, especially with the back corner right there. And you got the legs. The thing about this figure, the way it's molded, it's not molded for the legs to be, like, like, even. So, one, once one of the legs is going to be up higher than the other. But yeah, so let's get for size comparison. Let's get the Bandai Creations 1968 Godzilla. This is actually really good sizing, you know. Even though it's not accurate, but this is pretty cool to look at them. I never looked at these guys together. Interesting. Here we have, oh, also fun fact, there's only two DX figures for the Ultraman RB figures line. And it's Dark Side, blah, 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 Snake Darkness and Regu Sight. I was gonna say Dark Side. <laughs> nah, there's no Justice League here. But yeah, you see what I mean? He's pretty small compared to the other DX figures. Like, this is like the way Regu Sight, how big he is. This is kind of what you get with most of the DX figures. Why does my camera want to fall over? Oh my god. So you see this height difference. He's probably like eight and a half, he's probably like eight and a half inches, and this guy's like seven, seven inches. But yeah, you can see the two Ultraman RBDX figures here. I did customize this guy. I don't know if I want to finish, like, I'm satisfied, but I'm not like, yeah, this guy's good. Like, I do want to do some touch-ups on him, but I just haven't gotten to it. And then here's a figure that I'm hoping everybody has by now because it's a really awesome figure. The NECA 1962 Godzilla. This looks really good. Oh, they're both, both beautiful figures. Yeah, so you can see he's kind of, you can see the height. So like if you have this guy, you know this guy is pretty much where the horn is at, that's where, that's how tall he is. And then, here's just because it's the only King of the Monsters Godzilla figure that I own in this 3 inch scale because I still haven't received my, HL, uh, my other HLJ package. Here he is next to the 3 inch Jack specific Godzilla. Imagine this is the actual size of, dark, of Snake Darkness. <laughs> Nah, I think Darkness, I think he's like 60, 70 meters area. But, yeah, so, I'm still waiting to watch the movie coming out on, hopefully it comes out on YouTube, or if it comes out on Crunchyroll, which is weird that they don't have Ultraman RB, but they had Ultraman G. But, yeah, so here's Snake Darkness. Like I said, you're not going to get what you see here. I painted my figure. He is one of the smaller DX figures in the Ultraman series, Ultra series, Ultra Monster series DX line. There you go. It's, it's, um, but yeah, I did forget to paint a little pink right there. I don't know if I can do that. But yeah, so you can get this guy off HLJ for a pretty good price, eighteen, seventeen dollars. You can get him on eBay too. But you'll probably get run into some scalpers there, to be honest with you. But yeah. So, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let me know if you guys like the way I'm reviewing figures now. And if you have this figure, do you like the way he originally came? Because I did not. <laughs> That's why I painted it, to make him look like this, like he does in the tech. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.